Welcome. We are back with R8. We're gonna go ahead and do the abandoned ruins. Like we need to do duty. Like this is gonna be for us. Uh, let's check this out. That wooden coast. Actually. Of course, Varric. Varric. Gonna figure out quest. Is this it? Okay. Anyways, let's get this shit over with, right? Uh, I understand your name do what we do. A famous knight. Everyone always brings up the name. I've not heard of Sir Aveline. Is she very famous? Really? They don't tell of her glorious downfall into winter? Not to slaves. Pardon me for saying so, but thank the maker for that. Cool. I think we did this one. Wait. All that. Now let's just go ahead and uh, go to the ruins. Or oh, we go to deep roads, right? Deep roads, and then we're. Probably gonna go back to Eric. See what he heard. There's some. I've been sent for the man you've cornered here in the ruins. Ah, so you're the reinforcements the magistrate promised. The man you're looking for, he's holed up in the ruins. Though I doubt he's still in one piece. That bastard's to be brought in alive after all he's done? Just because it isn't you and your pretty little shemlin children he's after. Need to back off. I don't know or care who you are, but you need to step back right now. Please, Sarah, let me explain. The man you're after, he targets elves. He dragged my daughter into those ruins and killed her. I want him dead. My girl, Leah. Uh, she wasn't his first victim. Over the years, he's taken dozens of our children, and not once has he paid for his crimes. Kill anyone. Of course we'll punch. I'll tear his throat out myself. Thank you, Sarah. You have no idea what this means. You couldn't turn to the guards. For all my damn coin, I'm still only an elf to these shemlins. There'll be no justice for my girl in the courts of Kirkwall. This murderer cannot be allowed to walk free. Fuck murder. Then that bastard will finally get what he deserves. Thank you. Not wise, stranger. You try to take justice into your own hands. Watch me. The magistrate will have your head. Only if it's reported. I must do what is right. Let's see. Before we do that, let's go ahead and sit. Cool. 
Just in case. Beautiful. We should probably more level up. Here. Oh, we can. Just waiting for an ambush. Okay, let's check this first. Matter of time. Bones. Of course not. Can you get me out of here? I just want to go home. Leah, your father told us you were dead. My father? Is he safe? Kelder said that he'd hurt my family if I didn't come with him. Who is Kelder? The man who took me. see any injuries are you all right it's nice he hit me told me i was nothing i begged him to stop hurting me i didn't think he would but out of nowhere he pushed me away and just started crying don't you see 
he didn't mean to hurt I feel me. like it's a trap. He told me there are demons. They make him do these horrible things. I'll have to remember to use that. A demon made me do it. But it's true. How else could he do something like this? She is a child and does not understand. Her pity is admirable, but misplaced. This isn't my decision. I'm taking Kelda back to Kirkwall. They'll figure out what to do with him there. Maybe they can help him. Run to the entrance. You'll find your father there. Alright. Fuck this guy. Yeah, she got this. I still squat. I like the furnace or yeah, Fenris. I knew my father would eventually send someone. I was hoping the beasts down here would get to me first. You wanted those creatures to kill you? Why? It's what I deserve. I should be torn apart, forgotten down here, not protected by my father. The Magistrate sent me. I've never even met your father. He didn't tell you, did he? The Magistrate is my father. He's tried so hard to keep me and what I've done hidden away. Not hard enough, so it seems. The Magistrate is supposed to protect the people of the city, and that includes the Elves. Father is a good man. He tried to help, to stop me. But he can't. No one can. That Elf girl... She had no right to be so beautiful. So perfect. The demon said she needed to be taught a lesson, like all the others. The Circle was supposed to help me, but they lied. They said there were no demons, that I was mad. This isn't my fault. Leah said you told her to run. Why? I was... crying, and she asked me if I was all right. After everything the demons made me do to her, she was concerned about me. How could I let them destroy something so good, so pure? Let me get this straight. You torture and murder elven children for being too beautiful. I... I didn't want to hurt them. They forced me. The demons don't like it when they cry. If the Circle suspected a demon at work, they wouldn't risk setting you loose in the city. No. They lied. I can't stop. I've tried so many times. Please, you have to kill me. There's no other way. He sees the truth of it. Allow me to grant his wish, if you will not. Any last words before he kills you, Kelda? Tell my father. I'm sorry. Wait before we exit, can we go this way? Alright. Kill them. You saved her. My little girl. I didn't dare hope. 
Did you find that monster? Is he dead? He won't harm Leah or anyone else ever again. I didn't believe an elf could ever get justice in Kirkwall. I speak for all of us when I say that we are in your debt, Sora. I feel just as bad for those knife ears as the next man. But ignoring the Magistrate's direct orders, that's madness. I don't give a fuck. Right, let's go back. See what's going what's going to happen. Are we gonna get in trouble? Probably. Do I care? So the magister put Lee first. in your Two-handed. So I'm told. I get good. Not want good. to know the answer to that. He has. This is. Head and switch up shadow.
boy. Okay. Well, good luck to you then. Let's go ahead and see what's going to happen to us. We didn't obey. We didn't obey the rule. there blessed are the righteous the lights and the shadows in them is how Grigio Pavali. There are six bottles in the cellar. Daenerys used to have me pour it for his guests. My appearance intimidated them, he said, which he enjoyed. Nothing like a bit of fear with your wine. That's what Daenerys used to say. It's good I can still take pleasure in the small things. You've had a difficult life. I'd rather not speak more of it. Are you certain? I'm willing to listen. <laughs> to my whining? Very charitable of you. I've wanted to leave my past behind me, but it won't stay there. Tell me, have you never wanted to return to Ferelden? I grew up in Ferelden. It will always be my home. The blight is over. You could rebuild what you lost. Do you truly not want to? I have to admit, it's an attractive idea. But not now. I understand. Still, to have the option must be gratifying. If you're looking to start a life, you could stay. I could see myself staying, for the right reasons. I should thank you again for helping me against the Hunters. Had I known Ansa would find me a man so capable, I might have asked him to look sooner. It turned out well enough. It did at that. I will not keep you longer. Another time, perhaps. Cool. Alright, so... We should move on. If the deep roads is what you want, you have the coin to do it. Okay, let's do it.
done everything that we can man That's... Fifty thrill three. Lose attack. Go without it. Out for any traps. Old Shemlin, your kind are not welcome among the Dalish. I was given an amulet for someone named Marathari. How do you know that name? Wait, this is the one the Keeper spoke of. A Shemlin? I thought he'd be an elf. Enter the camp. Keeper Marathari has been waiting for you. Cause trouble, and you'll meet our blades, stranger. Marathari, I was told to bring you this amulet. And Aranatishan, travelers. Indeed, I am Keeper Marathari. Let me look at you. There's truth in your face. A rare thing in a human. Tell me how this burden fell to you, child. This amulet's owner rescued my family from the Blight. In return, I agreed to bring it to you. I honor you for coming to me. But I'm afraid your part in this is not done yet. The amulet must be taken to an altar at the top of the mountain and of course. given a Dalish rite for the departed. Then, return the amulet to me. Do this and your debt will be repaid. Are you going to teach me this rite for the departed? I will send my first with you. She will see to it the ritual is done. And when it is complete, I 
must ask that you take her with you when you go. Who is your first? First of what? Your people would call her my apprentice, or heir. Meryl would have taken my place as keeper. But she has chosen a new path. Meryl? Please, guide her safely from here. Fish. If that's what you want. It isn't what I want, but it is what she wants. You will find Meryl waiting for you on the trail just up the mountain. Gareth Shira. Okay. First, quest back here. You dare ask? If I were the keeper, you wouldn't even have that list. Your family murdered Zaprian and his entire tribe. They weren't themselves, they were cursed. And each day more lose themselves to the beast. What's this about curses and beasts? This Shemlin speaks for the werewolves of the Brazilian forest. She represents murderers. And saviors, too. They fought at the Battle of Denerim with the hero of Ferelden. But now they're losing hold of their senses. Even the Lady of the Forest is growing wild. If you don't help soon, there'll be nothing but monsters. And then, then you'll see murders. We are done. If I can help keep the werewolves from turning to beasts, I will. Thank you. The curse can't be broken, but it can be slowed. The Keeper gave me a list of ingredients, but some will be difficult and dangerous to find. Please, help me find them. I'm my best. Talk to Meryl. Going. Oh, I didn't hear. You must be the one the keeper told me about. Anethera. I'm so sorry. I didn't ask your name. Unless... It's not rude to ask a human their name, is it? I'm Meryl. Which you probably knew already. I'm rambling, sorry. Meet you. My name is Hawk. Glad to make your acquaintance, Meryl. Thank you. I'm afraid I'm not very experienced with your kind. The Keeper said you came from Ferelden. I spent most of my life there. We only came north a few years ago. Have you been in the Free Marches long? Do you like it here? Could be worse. I miss the cold and the dirt. Kirkwall's not brown enough for me. But hey, <laughs> no darkspawn. Ferelden uh. wasn't that brown. The dirt and muck gave it character. We should go. Your task is for Asha Bellina. It's not wise to make her wait. Ready to go. Let's get this over with. There is maybe a potential backpack. I believe we're good on. Dalish crafting is second to none, I assure you. Keeper didn't mention you were a mage. I imagine it's difficult to give away something nobody wants. 
All keepers know a bit of old magic. The stories tell us that all Elven once had the gift. But like so many things, it was lost. It's a keeper's job to remember, to restore what we can. I'm glad you decided to pitch in back there. Oh. Oh, you're welcome. I wasn't sure I'd be much good. I've done a little fighting before, but it, it was always... I feel like you have done a lot of... I'll try not to hit anyone. On our side, I mean. I'm hmm. babbling again. Interesting. Talking too much. That would be... Just money. So the keeper finally found someone to take you from here. Yes. Then finish your task quickly, human. We cannot be rid of this one too soon. So, this is awkward. Anyone else think this is awkward? How about we move along? I have made my choice. And I will save our clan whatever you think. Is there a problem? What's going on here, Meryl? Nothing. Just ignorance. We should go. Uh, what's back here? Why is there... Oh, maybe plants? Right. As well, let's just. No, no, you're going the wrong way. I know. We've got to head up the mountain, not down. Look, grab this. Stuff. You do not like your name. My name is a wish my father made. And I did want to be a knight, but... I see. Still, it's a good name. A strong name. What were you named after? I don't know my real name. My master called me Fenris, his little wolf. <laughs> That kind of scared me. Going up to the mountain.
What now? I'm sorry. You're not really seeing the Dalish at their best. We're good people that look out for each other. Just not today, apparently. It's too. There's more going on here than you and Marathari have told me. It's a misunderstanding. It doesn't matter now. Even if my people don't appreciate my efforts, I must see this through. Let's go. Ashabelana is known for her patience. Don't fuck around. That's so late. Eckert, me too. Ooh. Later. Or can I do it now? Huh? So twenty two, okay. Open the way forward. One moment. Oh, she's just doing blood magic. Ah. Blood magic. Foolish. Very foolish. Yes, it was blood magic, but I know what I'm doing. The spirit helped us, didn't it? The demon you Call mean? it what it is. You summoned a demon. Demons are just spirits, like honor or joy. It's not their fault they are what they are. Ignore the tiger. Not its fault that it's going to eat you. Sound advice. Be careful up ahead. Restless things prowl the heights. In the days of Arlapan, the elders came here to sleep. Uthanara, the endless dream they called it, but they don't sleep peacefully anymore.
What's her? Aharin Amalana Sale Emma Ira al Bella Zaviranan Isalahamin Vinanhim Tofilas In Usenera Narivas. Calm yourself. We know this one. Andarana Tishian Ashabalana. One of the people. I see. So young and bright. Do you know who I am beyond that title? I know only a little. Then stand. The people bend their knee too quickly. So refreshing. To see someone who keeps their end of a bargain. I half expected my amulet to end up in a merchant's pocket. I agreed to deliver the amulet, though you could have told me you were inside it. Just a piece. A small piece. But it was all I needed. A bit of security, should the inevitable occur. And if I know my Morrigan, it already has. that someone I should know? She's a girl who thinks she knows what is what better than I or anyone. <laughs> and why not? I raised her to be as she is. I cannot expect her to be less. I'm not sure whether she's your daughter or your enemy. Neither is she. You should have told me what I would face. Did I trick you? I asked you to bring the amulet, and you did. If I thought it such an easy task, I might have asked anyone. But you have succeeded where others would not. You have plans, I take it. Destiny awaits us both, dear boy. We have much to do. Before I go, a word of advice. We stand upon the precipice of change. The world fears the inevitable plummet into the abyss. Watch for that moment, and when it comes, do not hesitate to leap. It is only when you fall that you learn whether you can fly. What should I do? Do as I do. Become a dragon. <laughs> you could never be a dragon. As for you, child, step carefully. No path is darker than when your eyes are shut. Master Anus Ashabelana. Now the time has come for me to leave. You have my thanks and my sympathy. What now? Watch your step.
Was das? Go back, I guess. Let's go back. As it would have fallen off. Back. Maserana's child, your debt is paid in full. It isn't too late to change your mind, Alain. Dara's Shiral keeper. I'm ready. Let's depart. But am I gonna put you in the party though? I'm not going to. Elganar. Is this. Is this really where the elves live? Yes, this is it. Supposedly, there are worse alienages. I don't see how, though, unless they're constantly on fire. I didn't think it would be so... so... I've never seen so many people in one place before. It seems so lonely. You already know me. You'll make other friends soon enough. Guy. Thank you. Thank you for everything. For all your help. Will you come visit me? Not now, of course. But maybe later. I could use a friend. I'd like that, Meryl. Thank you. Oh, I'm thanking you too much, aren't I? I mean it, though. Oh. He is a good ass. Let's just try with the you know the rogue. Greetings. The priest was asking after you again last week. I brought my family there twice this year. What more does she want from us? Good to see you again. The boys and I are going to the ice camp. Like to join us? Don't mind if I do. See you there. I am sorry for your loss, mistress, but I can offer your son mercy only if he turns himself in. I'm trying to find him, but... The Templars cannot tolerate apostates. Can we help this woman? This could be mother. <laughs> it sounds like your son is in trouble. Is there anything I can do? You... Uh, you heard all of that and still you would help? An apostate? Oh, thank you. I am Ariani. My boy, Fenrir. He's all I have. All my family. When I learned he had magic, I could not bear to send him to the Circle. But his connection to the Fade, it gives him nightmares. Dreams of demons speaking in his mind. I would rather lose him to the Circle than to himself. What exactly do you need me to do? Just find him, please. Bring him somewhere safe. I don't know where Fainrail has gone, but there are two places you might start your search. 
Sir Thrask has been looking for him. If you speak to him in the gallows, he'll be able to tell you what ground he's already covered. And Fainriel's father, Vincento, recently returned from Antiva. He's a merchant in the Low Town Bazaar. Fainriel might have sought him out. I will not leave you fearful for a moment longer than necessary. Magic can be a fearful gift. Your son deserves the best aid learning how to manage it. My husband Wesley was a Templar. They're not all fanatics to be feared. Thank you. It has been a lonely time hiding. It's almost a relief to finally confront this openly. Good to see you again, my dear. How is your wife doing? Still recovering? Oh yeah. Could we stop by the tavern? I'm thirsty. Did you always do? I guess you've been with a lot of men. Men, women, elves. A dwarf in drag once, but I don't recommend that. <laughs> oh. oh, you're blushing. Why? How many lovers have you had? I... I never... You're a virgin. Paul, you've been holding out on the poor girl. Get her a night at the Blooming Rose. Hey there, on me. That's... Um, very generous. I'm a giver. That's the last of them. You do good work. Come, men, back to the vigil and away from this cesspool of a city. Have you anything to spare? Have I? We shouldn't talk here. All right, Barry, come on. You know that guy Marlowe at the bar downstairs? Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. We shouldn't talk here. I once knew a sailor like you. We lost him in a hurricane. Very sad. So, Isabella, you're a captain. That's right, big girl. What of it? I don't remember your name on any registries. Every ship that docks has to declare. Sorry, it's it. I never docked. And you're no port authority. Greetings, Sarah. You look like a man who'd be interested in the finest of Divan still to grace his hand. I bring only the best northern merchandise to the free marches. Actually, I'm more interested in your son. Son? 
I have never had that privilege, Seraph. My poor wife, she's back in Antiva and cannot see me often with my travels. Please, Seraph. I know you must fear for Fainriel, but we mean him no harm. Hmm. Hard to tell in this city who means who harm, no? Perhaps you can set his mind at ease. We are no Templars, Seraph. You'll find no better friend to a young, scared mage. Maldición, you are a mage. I suppose you'd be kind then to a boy who resists being taken in by Templars? Of course. The boy is in over his head. So why send him to the only man I know who doesn't despise mages? A former Templar named Samson. Does this Samson have a residence in Kirkwall? No. He is a wanted man. He stays out of sight during the day. At night, he stays near Darktown. That's the best place to find him. Go ahead. Uh, old Vincento said someone might come sniffing around. You're looking for the boy, right? Feign something. I'll tell you now, there's not much I can do for you. You don't cooperate, and the Templars will know you're helping rogue mages. Rogue? Is that what you should be called? Just for wanting to live like a person, not a beast? Wish I could do more, but... I need coin to live, and your lad Fainriel didn't have any. You abandoned him? I pointed him to a ship captain I know, Rainer. Sometimes he'll take on runaways. Took another apostate last week, girl I sent him. Might have gone wrong though. I heard rumors he took the both of them captive instead. Please tell me it's not too late to save him. Rumor has it, Rayner had the pair of them locked inside a Keys warehouse, somewhere close to Dockside. You want to go looking? You might find the lad before he gets ransomed to the Templars. Or worse. Hey, the docks. Should done. Tommy's. Get a hold of her. Please help me. 
Anyone? Get the hands! I heard they can't do no spells without hands. You know nothing of magic. Or not. I'm gonna attack. That never would have happened if they had an abomination. Girl into a corner. So the captain is Count. Who bears it? Undersea. I think we can find out who she was. that All set. Gotta go to the under city. Go ahead and save that boy. Do men find you intimidating? What about Wesley? Did he? Isabella. What? Too soon? Too soon, too personal, too... everything coming from you. Oh, sore spot? If you don't shut up, I'll give you a sore spot. Oh, Why, look here, boys. Volunteers. Clap them in irons and let's see what the Tevinters will pay for them. Answer my questions, and I won't trouble you about this little operation. You die now, there won't be any trouble at all. Shut this buck up.
get this kid I know the part eight's kind of long but fuck it right Pick me up on the way by. Still better than what I had. Look, uh, the name's Javaris Tintop. I need someone to help pacify the Canari. Those hornheads in Kirkwall have a powder that explodes, and it's just dust. No lyrium, no demons. Anyone can use it. I felt it sting. Their ships fire thunder. I doubt they were eager to sell. That Arishok said I wasn't worthy. That only their outcast, the Talvashoth, or that mercenary. I said, great, I'll go talk to them. Didn't go over well. But, made me think. Maybe he'll bargain if I get rid of something that bothers him more than, well, me. The Talvashoth. The Talvashoth. Are you up for some paid hunting? Um All right, I'll step in for you for a price. I'm done bargain hunting. I want it done right. Now, best I could figure, they're up the wounded coast, a whole camp. Take their heads off and meet me at the compound in Kirkwall. Yeah. Get this right and we'll be richly rewarded. Richly. That was don't want to. You have such pretty hair. What a lovely color. Other children used to laugh at me for having ginger hair. Really? Oh, I bet you were cute. Did you have to? and screaming for mercy as she approached. Shut up, poor. <laughs>
right? I'm going to end the episode here. Wait, where it's done? Or... But, uh... See you guys on part 9. Bye.